Today I'm here with a review of Google Docs for Android. Uh, so of course there's been a web version of Google Docs for quite a while and you know it works decently. However just this morning Google released their native version of Google Docs for the Android platform. And what I'm going to do is give you guys a little overview of it. There's actually some really cool things you can do with it. Uh, so of course it is free in the Android market. You just pick it up. Actually it's back all the way out. It's testing out there. Um, but once you open up it's a very simple interface. You can see here you can go to all your items, collection, start you can take a look at your documents images and if you click on the more tab you'll see text spreadsheets and presentations so all the standard things you expect to do with google docs you can definitely take a look at from your android device i'm um, over there's a, a couple of really cool things i'll show you guys i've come up here and create new you can create a new document or spreadsheet and that works very similarly i'll show you guys that but what the cool thing is you can create a document from photo uh so what i'm going to do is I actually have a uh a little piece of paper here with some information on it. And what i'm going to do for you guys I mean, kind of hard to show you on camera. In fact, I can't. Let me let me back it up a little bit and take a picture. There we go. So if I set that off to the side, you guys can see. Um, took a picture of uh, well, basically of a script of mine. So I can click done, and then you'll find that there are a couple of options. So you can create a title. You can pick what account you want to send it to. If you want to convert it to a Google Doc, so I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. Um, it will upload. So we can take a look. It just takes just a moment to upload, and then, oops, and then once we, there we go, uh, and then once yeah, there we go. It is uploaded. We can click on documents, click on this, and you guys can see here it will actually try to translate the uh, the text from our document onto here. So you can see here, there's our picture. Uh, not perfect, but if we look down here, you actually see that it does a very good job. So in fact, I can read it here. Um, very very close. Now what you might want to do is touch it up a little bit. Um, so you definitely, uh, it's not going to be perfect. Well, we can zoom in a little bit here. Um, it's not going to be perfect, but it does do a really solid job. And as you guys can see here, picture is not particularly great. It's kind of grainy. And I want to do another test here. So let's back out and create something else. I'm doing this all live just to give you guys a demonstration. Um, doing handwriting. So we can do the exact same thing here. Just create a new document from photo and try and of course it's kind of hard to show on camera but there we go so you can see there wonder how it reads handwriting click done go through the exact same process of hit OK and set this off to the side and we can see exactly how well it does um, so upload complete click on that and you see and once it loads and it actually looks like it did not figure that out at all. So uh, there are some issues that's not going to be 100% perfect, but definitely some pretty cool stuff. And if I want to back out and really quickly just show you guys, um, just type this up pretty easily. Uh, now it seems to use the web interface for a lot of it. If I click edit, um, it seems pr pretty much to just use the uh, web interface. So um, you know you can go ahead and type out your whatever, or you can take a look at your docs on the go. Um, but overall, I would say that definitely the biggest feature of it is just being able to take a look at your you know your handwritten documents or well, rather not handwritten because as you can see it didn't work too well uh, but if you have something typed up it actually will do a decent job and of course you can just edit it up a little bit um, you know fix the typos but on the whole of it definitely much much faster than uh, typing it all up yourself uh, so anyway guys that's about it for my review of Google Docs for Android definitely very cool if you use if you're a user of Google Docs I highly recommend go ahead and download it give it a shot um, you know, it's pretty much the best of the web interface with a few added bonuses.